Hi guys, this is now the last leg of my tour through London, Paris, Strasbourg and then of course Germany and Albania and now Kosovo. This is Kosovo, I'm heading to the airport now. It was really wonderful, wonderful to be here and I loved it. And I can just call for Kosovo to join NATO, the European Union and everybody adopt the Euro. Like Kosovo has it so successfully and also Montenegro. And it's one of the reasons why all the investments here are safe and why it makes a lot of sense also to have the Euro everywhere as a firm fundament of our European economy. And that's the way security by NATO, prosperity and regulatory alignment by EU and of course the prosperity and the investment security by the Euro. This is the logic, OECD attached as well, Council of Europe membership obviously. I made that clear in Strasbourg and our enemies must be defeated and divided and we must be more united. This is the logic of my trip. I showed you from London uh, where I called uh, for uh, the um, return of the Brexit, uh, no, not the return of the Brexit, the end of Brexit, the return or uh, the rejoining of the United Kingdom towards France where I called of course for a stronger European France and I called here then in Albania for EU accession and here in Kosovo where you see here this city of Pristina. It's very beautiful, uh, it's very high rise building. Over there you see the huge coal reservoirs of Kosovo and of course uh, this amazing um, power plants which uh, should be replaced by even better power plants but working on European technology and of course a lot of solar potential, wind potential and energy potential here in Kosovo. I'm now on the way to the airport. This is how Kosovo looks here. The highways are really very good. They invested a lot into energy infrastructure, into highway infrastructure. Here's also the railway station over there. The railway station which could theoretically go to Vienna, but it's not, <laughs> obviously. And Kosovo needs major uh, railway uh, investments, obviously, because we should have Tesheves yeah, from Vienna to Dubrovnik and to Patras and from Vienna, of course, uh, towards Belgrade and then onwards uh, towards uh, Thessaloniki and to Istanbul. That would be the logic of it all. And that is what we need to achieve. Yeah? And for that we need energy, we need infrastructure, we need EU and NATO. Here the police is working very well. And you see here a lot of new investments that some of the villages here which are invested, the gated communities. And you know, you see a lot of opportunities still around the energy infrastructure, very good. And of course, the consequence of the so-called Bansko terror attack on where Serbia has officially declared himself uh, herself as a state sponsor of terror must be that Kosovo and Bosnia are in NATO and that will have the effect as I discussed yesterday in this Twitter space, I think extensively yesterday night and it was very interesting debate, thanks for the invitation to Fatom. Yeah, it's very beautiful here and I love it and more to come here from this beautiful country the showcase of European nation building which we should do more of it and it's very successful and I just can congratulate everybody who supported me here and who helped me and I can just promote for Kosovo to join NATO, for Albania, Macedonia and Montenegro to join the European Union, for Ukraine to win, the victory is so important and for all of us uh, to be more united and to defeat our enemies, to dismantle them and divide them, that is the logic. And Serbia and Hungary, they went to China, let's never forget, and we are all united in Tirana, that's the big difference.